Hello, this is Patriot of the Republic, 1989B, and uh, Mike Fulmer. Well, uh, this topic today will be about Agenda 21, and, uh, well, it's basically about the Port Authority of Allegheny County. And basically, well, this is what Mr. Fitzgerald said when he was running for county commissioner, he was going to be departmentizing the region, which is the Port Authority, and possibly talking to other county executives, oh, say about a half a dozen, maybe eight, nine, ten, to almost a dozen other counties in the southwestern Pennsylvania area regarding the mass transit situation. And well, basically what Fitzgerald was talking about was departmentizing, making, well, di dissolv dissolving the Port Authority of Allegheny County and absorbing, well, basically it was the departmentizing of uh, mass transit in the southwestern Pennsylvania area, which will be merging the Port Authority of Allegheny County and other tra public transportation, other county transport, mass transportation operations, well, that would be the merging of uh, the Port Authority of Allegheny County with the Westmoreland Transmit Transportation of, Al of Westmoreland County and all the uh, surrounding counties with that are in the southwestern Pennsylvania area. Basically, departmentizing it, making it bigger. Bigger isn't usually necessarily mean it's going to be better. And, uh, well, I would like to go over the key words, departmentizing and regionizing. Basically, it's part of the, uh, it's part of, demo of a democracy, majority rules, which is part of the top ten or, or the the ten planks of the communist manifesto and I'm just going to read two of the uh, um, the sixth plank and the eighth plank of the communist manifesto and this is regarding mass transportation government control of all communications in transportation and the eighth plank will be government control of labor. Now, doesn't that sound like it's government control of the transportation issues here in Allegheny County? And also government control of labor. Uh, that's two things that we adopted from the Communist Manifesto. And, well, it, it, it's... it. They say... When the Port Authority of Allegheny County was founded in 1964, they said it was going to be better. Bigger will be better, which it, which in all reality, it won't be better. I'll, I'll give an example. When, before the Port Authority was founded, this is a real good example, Homestead in Mudhall, you had all the, you had a, a privately owned mass transit si system that ran through that general area, Mud Hall and uh, the Homestead area of uh, Pittsburgh or Allegheny County. Well, here's the example I'm going to give. Mud Hall and Homestead. When you had pr privately owned a mom and pop mass transit system, you had buses going down Street A, Street B, Street C, and D, all through the Mud Hall, and uh, I mean, yeah, Mud Hall and Homestead, and they all go down. You could walk basically. You could walk right at your front doorstep, walk down your steps, and right at the bottom of the steps, the bus stop will be right there. And and it was like that all through Mud Hall and Homestead. You had buses going down Street A, B, 
B, and C. When the Port Authority was founded in 1964, they said it would be better. So they eliminated bus A, C, I, I mean A, bus A, B, C, and D, which will go down to the public square, wherever the public town square would be. Two buses will go down to Pittsburgh. Basically, the two buses will go f in two different directions, and ultimately, it will leave the mud hall. Two, the two bus routes that will go down, here's a good example, uh, street bus A and, and B, they will go down to the town square of Mud Hall or uh, Homestead, and then they will go straight to Pittsburgh, but they would split up in two different directions, and their ultimate destination will be downtown Pittsburgh. And, uh, well, the other two buses, Street C and D, th they would probably go up somewhere around uh, West Mifflin, like up to Century 3, then end up going down to McKeesport. That will be S Street C, the Street S Bus C route. And the Bus D Street route would probably go up, up into Squirrel Hill and then find its way going towards and through East Liberty and the final destination will be the Pittsburgh Zoo. And then the Port Authority, when they took over, they eliminated Street A, B, C, and D, those existing bus routes, and they had a bus going down the main drag through Mud Hall and Homestead. At least one or two buses going into different directions. And they said, this will be better. How would bigger be better when you're eliminating street A, B, C, and D, where it was much more convenient for the people that lived in that area or in the areas of Mud Hall and Homestead. Now they, now you're making it less inconvenient. You're making it inconvenient for the residents of the Mud Hall and Homestead areas. Instead of walking out their front doorstep right out there and right down their steps the bus stop will be right down the steps right out their front door instead of walking down instead of walking out their front door and waiting out there right at the end of their steps for the bus they would have to walk at least one or two or three or more city blocks or maybe well over a mile making it a great inconvenience for those residents that live in the Mud Hall and Homestead area. And where I'm gathering at, when you have government incorporating mass transit into the local county government, that's just basically adopting uh, the, the communist, the ten planks of the communist manifesto, like the six um, plank of the Communist Manifesto, all government control of communications and transportation. And the eighth plank of the Communist Manifesto will be government control of labor. So you're going to have control of communications, which will be within the transportation system. And also, people are going to have to have jobs. That's government control of labor. And that's part of a democracy. It's, it's part of the Communist Manifesto. That's being a Marxist. When you take uh, public mass transportation, monopolize it, and put it, incorporate it into government, that's government control of mass transportation. So bigger isn't better. It, it will be less convenient for people. They would have to walk more than a block, maybe about a couple miles or more, to get to the bus stop. And I feel 
the Port Authority is a plan to take complete control of all mass transportation in this county, which is a part of a bigger plan, and that plan is named the UN Plan Agenda 21. Uh, well, and Fitzgerald did mention he was going to departmentize the whole region and, and, and merge the Port Authority of Allegheny County with the existing counties throughout the southwestern Pennsylvania area and making it bigger, which I think will be less. It won't be good. Bigger won't be better. And basically, uh, I'll give an example here again. Little townships or boroughs or little boroughs or townships like Pitcairn, uh, Trafford, Wall, Wolverdine, Verona, and Oakmont won't be considered an important. It won't be considered to go through. It will in a bigger scale model going through eight or nine counties. Those little townships or little holes in the wall won't be considered important to go through. They'll be completely bypassed. They, they'll be cut off from society. And, and people would have the force to either get a car or to, be, or to move out of those general areas. Closer down to work, if they work in Monroeville, they're going to have to either move closer to Monroeville or Pittsburgh if they work in those general areas and they would have to relocate or get a vehicle I think it's to control the masses and this is a part of agenda 21 so I'm talking to the people when this video is going to be published on YouTube which I will upload it and it will be published over YouTube I'm talking to the people that would um, will view this video please do do a Google search about agenda 21 and I will have down down below in my definition definition box the 10 planks of the Communist Manifesto and links to uh, the Alex Jones show talking about agenda 21 and also the uh, the Alex Jones InfraWars nightly news show links addressing a, about Agenda 21 and controlling of uh, mass transportation and controlling people in generally. Um, I remember Fitzgerald, the county when he was running for county commissioner, this in November of 2011. That's that's some time past now. He did mention that he was going to departmentize mass transportation and merge eight, nine, about a half a dozen or more counties throughout the southwestern Pennsylvania area. And I don't think bigger will be better in this situation. I think if you uh, departmentize a region, Certain areas like Verona, Oakmont, Wall, Wolverdine, Pitcairn, Trafford, Turtle Creek, East McKeesport, and East Pittsburgh, and certain parts of North for sales, won't will be totally bypassed. They will not get the quality of service like they did once before with the with the Port Authority of Allegheny County. Um, well, I'm just addressing my views and my opinions on this situation the departmentizing of uh, all the mass transit uh, transportation operations through several counties in the southwestern Pennsylvania area and I and I feel this is part of a bigger plan that the Port Authority is a plan to take completely control of all mass public mass transportation and also uh, labor jobs in this county which is a part of a bigger plan a, 
and that plan is named Agenda 21. Once again, people, when you watch this video, after you watch this video, please do a complete Google search about Agenda 21, and you'll find on that Google search a page it will be linked right to the U the United Nations web page and it's the whole document explaining agenda 21 okay well this is Mike Fulmer Patriot of the Republic one saying so long and goodbye and adios everybody have a good day goodbye